Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh. We are back for the third demo in a row. Wow. How exciting is that? <laughs> We've done well this week. Three days in a row. <laughs> Three days in a row. We're spoiling oh. you. Well. <laughs> so tonight, it's all about toadstools. Yes, it is. It's been super popular, this new set. So uh, excited to see what Mark has up his sleeve tonight for you. I've uh, seen a little bit and it's looking good. Yeah, check out the stockists for those. Um, we are down to... I think we've got eight left. If that. <laughs> but so, yeah, lots yeah. of our stockists have them, so do not worry. And no. we shall have more on order very soon. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. We have lots of our lovely design team. And we have Trudy, Julie, Lane, Nola. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Yay. Samar again. Sorry, lots of names of flown up before I've managed to look at them. So thank you ever so much for tuning in tonight. We really appreciate it. Of course. Yes. So, shall we get straight on? Shall we? <laughs> why not? I, I kind of dazed tonight. I don't know why, but yeah, I, let's get on with it. And we'll do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some with, oh, let's let's jump to the overhead, oh, overhead down that way, that way. Okay, let's go over to now. Sorry, everyone. It's, it's not there, but it's, it's, we're looking down. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so um, tonight we're going to be obviously playing with this set. This this is a rare beast in invisible image at the moment. So please, as I said, check out the stockists um, because they should hopefully have a few left. Um, but we are, are getting more. Um, it's a great set, absolutely amazing. I know how much it's been loved by everybody. Um, it's got it's just got so much. There's toadstools. It's got the grasses. Uh, we've got some spores, we've got sto some stones, little stones there, and the great sentiment as well. Nature heals the soul. That's a great one, isn't it? That's a really good set. So that's brilliant. I'm also going to use, tonight I'm going to use our Create With Your Soul stamp set, which is, uh, is actually, it used to be three, didn't it? But now it's one. No, it, no, used, so it used to be, to be one. one, now it's now three. It's three. Yes. Sorry. Get it right, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it. No, I'm not tired actually. Uh, right, so let me just turn this over and there you can see. So we've got three individual stamps. You can use them all together or individually. That was the great benefit of bringing this set back in a new format. So you can get, so I'm going to use this one tonight, the Create With Your Soul. So there we go. That's really Gorgeous. nice. What we all do, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, Vicky's saying beautiful detail. Well, thank you, Vicky. Um, yes, so that's that one. Um, and then I'm also going to be using um, our much loved again stamps uh, stencil. Oh, I can't, can't talk oh, tonight. Honestly, oh, should no. I take over? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> but should we swap well, places? Not, not the demo. I'll just do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what can you do, everyone? Um, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so this is our strobe stencil. Very, very useful. Especially if you want to put an element in front of that, which I will do. I'll be putting the toadstool, one of the main toadstools in front of that later on. Um, so let's get started. Now, I think what we, yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll just crack straight on in, shall we? Absolutely. It's what everyone's so. here for. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably saying, hurry up, Mark, hurry up. Okay, so we start with a piece of white card, obviously. And I'm going to be bringing in loads of distress inks. Um, we're going to get a bit inky and create our background. This is how I've got one pre-made uh, or pre-dried, I should say. Uh, but I'm going to go through all the steps of how you create a background that you can... Let me just bring... Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm bringing this... See, not quite like this, but, it's, you know, this is what stands out. Not only do the toadstools look amazing, but you know, if I say so myself, because this is my card. <laughs> but... Everyone's always commented on backgrounds. So if you can create a great background, it makes anything in the foreground look brilliant as well. So I'm gonna create a background, not too dissimilar to this, but a little bit different, but we'll go with it now. So that's the kind of thing that we'll be creating, a background. We're not doing this particular card, but something similar. And I like this, this is my favorite, one of my favorites. Of favorites of makes lately anyway. So let's get back on with that. Sorry, thank you, Helen. So we'll start off with, um, I'm gonna go from kind of light to dark and I'm starting off with a bit of mustard seed. If I um, just move that camera out of touch, camera two, there we go. So I'm using, just use on your blending mat. Spritz with some water. I think we all know how to do this. I'm just, I may be repeating myself for people who, who are 
quite au fait with um, doing this, but I know that sometimes there are a few beginners for doing this. A little bit more ink. Some more colour. A little bit blurry there. Maybe because you're moving around. Oh, lot. sorry. Uh, I'll, okay. If I go in slow motion. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, it's back. It's fine. There we go. So, so this is our first colour. Now, normally, I would mop up with a different piece of card, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually wasting it all tonight. So, there we go. Next colour we're going to go with is the... Um, this is a... Look, you see, see the, how bad... How old it is. I know, it's ancient now. So, there we go. My spice marmalade. Much loved, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's been used, I mean, it's quite dry now, so I need. I do need to get myself some reinkers. Spritz that. Now this is where, this is where you have lots of fun. This is, this is the inky bit, and this is what I love doing. Again, there's no particular right or wrong way of doing this, or even the order of colors. I do tend to go try to go from light to dark where possible, but sometimes you just kind of, you know, have fun and go with it. Um, next color is, strangely enough, I'm kind of jumping colors. I do sometimes like, um, sorry, is the camera? Yeah, we've got this camera. Blurry. Let's just, um, there, is that better everyone? Better. Right, okay. So we've got the, we're using the wilted violet. Wilted violet. What did I say? It's okay. Did I say wilted? No, wilted violet. What is wrong with you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You either had too much coffee or not enough. What do you think? <laughs> Probably not enough. Do you know what? I will just slightly. I will dry these, um, dry the steps a little bit in between. You need more water with it, Mark. With what? I'm not sure what I need more water with. <laughs> with the coffee, you mean? <laughs> right, okay. So, a little bit more spray there. Now, this is where... This is... This is where... Um, this is where we get kind of... I'm kind of doing this a little bit on purpose. It looks kind of, you know, when you sometimes you blend colors and it looks a bit muddy and a bit meh. That's great. That's fine. Absolutely fine. There's a way to correct, correct that. And um, I don't concern myself too much about how it looks currently. Um, I just carry on going. Sometimes you think, oh no, you need to stop. But trust me, you want to continue. What are you thinking so far, Helen? Yep. <laughs> what? D don't see that. <laughs> this this is how how things work. Right. Okay. So the next color. So I've done that one now. I kind of got a lot of different colors going on the go here. I'll, I'm going to go with a little bit of picked raspberry. I like that one. Do you like that color? I do. Where are my faves? Okay. A little bit of pink. Right. Are you just in awe tonight, Helen? You, you're very quiet tonight. I'm not quiet, I'm watching you. Okay, <laughs> right. It's when you put these warmer colours on that it starts to come to life. So, there we go. Again, wipe that up. Are we getting there yet, Helen? I think we are. Okay. That's what it's all about, isn't it? The playing. Now, again, you know, don't... I mean, to me, some of these colors look a bit kind of browny and a bit murky, but this is why you gotta, sometimes you just gotta keep on going. You really do. I think I have had too much, I think I had, a, we had a coffee earlier, just before we came upstairs, didn't we? Yes, we I, shall, I shall ban you from having coffee an hour before the, uh, <laughs> right. the live next okay. time. Okay, <laughs> next color I'm going to use um, is Broken China. So we'll use that one next. Sorry, I'm going through each step individually, but um, I think it's important sometimes to show you kind of how we get to the finished result as well. Oh, this one is one of, so I'm kind of mixing my things up as well. And sometimes I'm using the inks and sometimes I'm using the oxides. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> There's no particular method in this madness, but we'll see how it comes out. So. So another colour done. Nice, definitely I, getting, definitely I getting did, there now. I did say that this, this was going to be a few different steps. 
Um, that's what it's all. Like. And you like the colour more now, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, you will do. What's everyone else been doing today then? Oh. Yeah, what you all been up to today? I see we have Susan's joined us from Country View. Hi oh. Susan, thanks Hello. for tuning in. Sam Mars loving the background now. Now she, she well, no, yeah. she didn't say now, I just said she's commented now. Yeah, well, I to, I'm starting to love it now too. <laughs> Um, do I, right, okay, I'm trying, I've lost, I've lost my order of what I was going to go in. I think, um, do you know, I think I'll go, ah, this is, a, this is a colour I quite like, um, I spruce. Um, it kind of dulls down some of the other colours, but it, it works really well. Um, it's one of, one of my favourite colours. Um, I don't have, I don't think I've got all the colours yet, but that's one of my favourite ones. And I use that a lot. It's kind of greeny grey, that's what I call it. Or I call it. And then you go, hmm, maybe not. <laughs> Are you shaking your head, Helen, thinking no? I liked it before. You're right. <laughs> Don't worry. This is this the whole point. <sighs> Don't worry. Do you know what? I used to think when I've gotten this far, I think, oh, no, that's it. That's it now. I've got to, got to throw it. This will go in the bin. But no, not anymore. Everyone's just kind of going to carry on watching to see whether I can actually rescue this or not. <laughs> I have faith in you. Total faith in you. Ah, okay. So Trudy said she wants some of what you're on. <laughs> right. Um, oh, they've been packing our orders. Susan. Nice one. That's what I like to see. Okay, now, oh, that's candied, candied apple. Okay, nice colour that one. Very, very. This is what warms things up all the time. It's one of my secret, um, secret colours that I use. There we go. A bit more there. Okay. How are we looking now, Helen? It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. Again, when you dry these, the the colour kind of tones down a bit. It may look brighter when you first put it on, but it does tone itself down. Are we a few seconds? I've done my stock check out. Oh, Dottie's today. Oh, well, nice. So I'm reading comments as I'm drawing as well, so... Uh, Helen can read comments as well, can't you? I can, and I have been. Are <laughs> <laughs> you telling me off? Yeah, no, not at all, Helen, not <laughs> at all. Okay, there's a couple more colours I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use the... Uh, cracked pistachio and I'm going to finish off with some peacock feathers as well um, which order I think I'll use the peacock feathers first you like this colour don't you this one I do Jane says you need the crackling campfire you haven't got that one yet have you no no is it like what's it what, what's it like is it like barn door is it a bit like that or is it darker or brighter or lighter I, I don't know what's it what's it like um, Jane Is it because Jane's thinking that I'm missing that colour in this particular thing? <laughs> Don't know. If you want to see what it looks like, head to Jane's Instagram. Ooh. <laughs> I'll have to have a look. Is that the latest one? What is the latest one? I, I got I forgot I forgot what colour it is after, after the salvage patina. I know there was a, there was another colour. I think about the last, the last, not the latest one, the last one before that. Okay, finish off with some peacock feathers. They are peacock feathers. Like that one. And this is another kind of greeny colour as well. It's an awesome orange, Jane says. All right, okay. Nice. We shall get some. All right, so this is the last colour that I'm going on with this one. And you're still probably thinking, hmm. Are you still thinking that, Helen? You're thinking not sure? Oh, I like it. Okay. All right, just clean that mess up. Ah, uh, of course, prize ribbon is the latest one. The, the blue. Ah, the blue, the blue. right, yeah. Mm. Prize, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of what I it was. I couldn't think either. 
Too many things in my mind. <laughs> okay. So, now, a lot of it's looking dark, okay? But this is, this is where we kind of brighten things up a little bit. We're gonna, I need a piece of tissue. I'm gonna put that down there, put that on top. And I'm gonna bring in um, my white linen dilution spray. Um, this will obviously tone everything back and tone it down and give it a little bit of wow. Yes, you used this one last night, didn't you? I did, yeah. It looked lovely. Now, the trick is sometimes a little bit of spray as well. And then you start to dry that off. Can you shake that for me? <laughs> side to side. Well, up and down, I don't know. Oh, you didn't get on you, did you? No. I don't think so. I think I, I, I missed myself. <laughs> so, sorry everyone, we, we're having a, like, I asked Helen to shake a bottle s stupidly because it's white as well. Okay. Now, because I will spray it again now. I love this colour because it kind of, it kind of sits on top a lot of the times when it's dry, it just sit on top of the other colours. Dry this up a little bit more. Oh, now Sam's talking about biscuits, making me hungry. Oh, <laughs> again, we haven't had our evening meal yet, so. Um... No, that's I like those. I like those spray bits, those little droplets there. Yes, very nice. Yeah, go on, that's it. There. What are we thinking of this background now, everybody? I think I'm starting to very much like it. You will when it's dry. Do you know what? There's probably one colour that I'll probably want to go over again with as well. Do we have a squeezed lemonade? Squeeze lemonade. We'll put a squeeze lemonade. Yeah, outside. Yeah, outside. I know. I put, no, it's not there. It's, um, doesn't matter. That's fine. Julie says she loves it. Sheila's eating her dinner while she's watching. Stop oh, making okay. us jealous, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> what are you eating, Sheila? <laughs> Go on, tell us. Something nice, I'm sure. We're gonna, we've got a pasta bake waiting for us, haven't we? We have. Had to be something easy tonight that we could just pop in the oven. And some garlic bread as well. Are you still looking for that thing I said? I am. Okay. It, it doesn't really, it really doesn't matter. I don't know. Let me just see if I can find it. Oh, Here there it we is. There was there all, it was it was there there all, all the time. Yeah. Can't I see might, I'm going to just go over the <laughs> top of this with a little bit of squeezed lemonade. And the, the, the oxide as well, just because. It might not even show. We'll see now. Trudy says it looks lush and Lola says she loves it. Oh, thank you, everyone. Put the spray, not too much on there. And then just... There, I think I'm happy with that now. Good, good. There. I'll dry that off. Okay. Hope we're looking for time, 20 minutes in, That's just okay. for my background. It's all good. It's all good. I did say I was creating a background from start to finish, just because. Ooh, lentil cottage pie is what she is eating. Ooh. That sounds nice. That sounds very nice. If it had... Um, Oh, what's that? Homemade paneer curry. Ooh, curry Julie's, as well. yep, Julie's having curry. Homemade curry. Can anyone top the curry? Making us all very hungry now. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, do you know what? I'm going to just lick a little bit. Let's lick a bit of that or not. Oh, that's better. Exactly what I wanted. 
the bigger the droplets the better and then what you do a little bit of a spray there we go a little bit spray in there and that just that just tones that down and when it's on let me just dry that for you now Dab those excess colours away. Jane's had salmon. Oh, Jane. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll catch up with some nice home cooked meals over the weekend when we're not quite so busy. <laughs> now, as per normal, when, when you do backgrounds, you never ever get the same thing twice. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. I probably create. A little bit more maybe add some more colors i tried to watch the video i made of the previous one and you still never ever get the same color twice do you no nope, no not more. never but just... we can we can use this for uh, for another day yeah so i will be using this but that's getting there it's not quite finished but it's it's nearly there i probably add a little bit more white and a couple of other colors but i want to jump now to the one that i actually finished off do you know what I think would be nice on this background? I think we could get our midnight sky set on there. Oh yeah, we could do, yes. Mm -hmm. So again, you day. can see that this one is completely different. And obviously I used colours in a different order. More um, yellow. Yes. Yeah. And I couldn't find one of my colours. I thought, obviously I missed a colour out. But again, they're both good. And I would probably go in with that with some more speckles of, of the white there when, when this is totally dry so that it's not absorbed. Um, but yeah, that's where we are with this. Let me put this one to one side. We'll use that another day. Never okay. waste. Okay. Nope. So this one now, what we need to do is we need to, I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm going to bring that, my stamping platform. And let me just zoom out with this camera. Oh, I am out. Right, okay. So um, I shall put this on here. And I'm going to stamp the, um, one of the sentiments from this. Have you got the set there? So I'm stamping this one here, the Create With a Soul. I'm going to stamp that across the bottom there. So I've already got my stamp on my platform. You're an awesome powder. Oh, thank you, Helen. Do you know as well, I, these magnets, I, I've broken another one today. <laughs> they, they just flipped and it, it, it's just clung together. I bet it happened to everybody else as well. So I've, I've broken another magnet. I'll have to buy some more. I don't know whether you can buy replacement ones. You probably can. Right. It's my own fault. Do people put tape over them to stop them breaking or I'm, I'm asking questions now out, out in the group what people do. I know that people put tape on them but I don't know why they do. So is it just to pick them up or so they don't break? Right, so I'm using some Versum, Versafine Black which is the black, nice onyx black ink and then stamp that sentiment just down there as well. There we go. So now I'm going to use a little bit more because I want it nice and black. Um, and when you um, when you when you stamp onto especially oxided backgrounds, you want to make sure that this is a little bit more wetter than uh, to catch your um, embossing powder. Right. Okay. So that looks really cool. Take that off there. Get that out of the way. Thank you. Oh, that was Helen. You slid that in there. Well done. <laughs> right, okay. It's clear embossing powder. And do you know what? I've, how much of this have, have I been doing without my glasses on again? I didn't even notice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, that's for you. No, no wonder it went wrong. No, oh, no, it didn't go wrong. It's just different. Uh, James says the tape is just to pick the magnets up. Ah, and, right, okay. Uh, Susan says, yes, you can get your placements. Because I, I looked on... The, on one place and they, they didn't come to the same one. Do I have to buy the same brand, the um, mice, the misty ones? Or can I buy other ones that are as powerful? So I don't know whether it's heat from the top or the bottom today. We'll go from the top. Okay. How does that look so far? Lovely. I'm glad I did that in black now. I'm happy with that. Yes, stands out nicely with being embossed. Okay, so the next thing I want to use is my stencil, which is, this is the strobe stencil. And 
I'm placing this over the top. Oh, sorry, my head was in the way there. So, sorry, Helen. Just zoom in a little bit. Oh, so, over zoom, zoom in. in a little bit. As long as it doesn't go blurry again. There we go. Yeah, oh, that's a nice so, sharp picture. Cool. Um, I'm going to just quickly tape, or will I tape it down a little bit, maybe? Just on the edges there. So I have a hand free at least. So let's just tape that down. And I'm going to use, I found some ink today that I haven't used in ages. Um, and this, um, the ink pad is the um, Brilliance um, Moonlight White. So I'm going to use that today. Lovely. It was a tough choice between that one. And I do have a one called Platinum Planet, which is like silvery white as well. But I think I'll go for just white, white. white. Nice. Whitish white. Oh, look at that. Susan said she's going to send you a replacement Misty set of magnets tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's very, very generous of you. T tell me how much I owe you and I'll, <laughs> I'll send I'll send PayPal you. <laughs> right, so the ink. I don't know why they come with these plastic things in them. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just to keep them uh, wetter. And I'm using a brush um, this time and I'm going to blend the ink through and just swipe out to give it that kind of raise effect. Lovely. Okay. So let's start with this now, see how this comes out. Seems a shame to go over this background with this white, but it's um, it's semi-transparent, so you can still see through it as well. So hopefully it will look really cool. And you did say to me, help, didn't you? Make sure you don't go over the uh, sentiment, was that right? <laughs> you did, did. did, you, did, did you did say that earlier, yes you did, <laughs> she did. Okay. So brushing out from the center and then just blending out there and hopefully this will look really really nice it's sometimes hard to see until you actually do the grand reveal even helen hasn't seen this have you helen yet nope <laughs> so this could be really good or not we'll see now Strangely enough, I haven't used this either, so this is a first, a first using this ink. I don't want to go over those sentiments. There we go. I think I've done enough now. No point asking me. <laughs> You're supposed to. I don't have a clue. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we. I think. I think we'll we'll stop there. And we'll just see what he says. He does a little bit more. Jane said it's funny how we all cover our backgrounds up. All that work to make a background. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. And you often cover most of it. Yeah. Very true, Jane. <laughs> well, I think I've shown a photograph of this the other day, this this particular background, and I really didn't know what to do with it. So I thought it was about time I used it. Um, right, let's see how this looks, shall we? Does it, does it work or does it, does it need more, do you think? We'll see now. Do I reveal or do I hide it back again? Does that work? How does that work? Definitely down the bottom left, I can see it. Do you want maybe more on the top? Maybe a bit more top left, maybe. Just okay. a little bit more. It's definitely a, a nice you're very effect. You're very particular there, Hell. <laughs> Oh, I just couldn't really see no, it. No, I know. I know. Sometimes well. it's um... maybe it's just because the background's a bit paler there as well. And you do like it, you know, you do, you need to be happy. So I need you to be happy with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that now, shall we? You don't want to be too, to be too, um, too extreme. It's just going to be there, especially when you hold up to the light. So we'll have a look at that now. How does that look? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, let's take that off now. Very nice. So I'll put that very, over there. Very, very cool. Oh, put that lid back on there. Um, so I'll hold that up so you can see that. Um, can everyone see how it's kind of, it's like a raise effect. It's quite nice that yeah, actually, isn't it? it's gorgeous. Do you know what I could use that? We've got an angel, angel stamp, haven't we? Ah, yes. That'd be great with well, that the as well. angel or the guardian angel. That would yes. be amazing actually. That, right, that's an idea for another That isn't, that isn't another <laughs> idea, yeah. It's good while you come up with things as you go along. Yeah, definitely. Um, right. Or the fairy. Okay. Fairy would look good on there too. 
So what I shall do now is I will actually stick this to a piece of card I've got. So oh, just... you had a few wows there on the reveal, Sanmar and Trudy. Oh, right, okay, Fifth great. This is gorgeous. So hopefully, once, once we put, put the, uh, do the other elements, that should look really nice. Like on, and nice to have a black border on that, so it really Yeah, pops. definitely makes it yeah. pop. Okay, use some glue now on that. Oh, I've got a few more samples to show at the end today as well. Yes, we have. We had some delivered. So um... Jane and, uh, sorry, not Jane, Jeanette. Ooh. Jeanette and Leanne, some toadstool samples. So we shall show them at the end. I can't believe how, you know, how many every, different versions of, you know, the, you know, using one set. I know. Oh, so many ideas. I have loads of um, samples to carry on adding to the website over the weekend if I get time. And mm. uh, there's so many and it's just great to see them used in so many different ways. Right. And being mixed and matched with other things. Sorry, I'm, I'm gluing it this way because it's my curse. I've started doing it one way and I can't do it any other way now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, in advance. Um, right, okay, well, I'll try and, I'm trying to put this down in the right place without I get my head in the way. Don't worry about your head. It's more important to get it straight. Okay. Nobody minds seeing a bit of your hair, Mark. Yeah, well, what's left of it anyway? <laughs> what's left of it, everybody? Show it off while you've still got it. <laughs> Is that right? Is that what you're supposed to do? Okay, let's put, place that down so. Samar agrees that the angel look, would look superb on it. Ali says it looks multi-leveled and all the layers all, all the layers and depth. Can't read tonight. Oh, Nebula and Starburst. Ooh. Sheila. Background is Fab. Says okay. Indigo Inferno. That's a great name. That is a great name. What card are you using? Is it Crafter's Companion? It is, yes. The Crafter's Companion Pearlescent, um, Pearlescent White, I think it's called. Or snow, I don't know. It's either called snow or white. I'm not sure what, or both. I don't know. It's one of those. It's but it's cool. It's it's what I use um, until I find um, something else. I'm happy with it and I use it. I use it a lot. So yes, you've thrown a lot of ink at it, haven't you? And a lot of water. Yeah. It's so still, that still so, good. so there we are at the moment. That's not done yet. Obviously, we're on to the next phase now. So I'm going to put this to one side. And then we're going to do a little bit of stamping, just a little bit. Um, I see stamp. Where are we put? Oh, it's here, right? Okay. I'm going to um, stamp the uh, the mushroom from the big mushroom. Toadstool. Oh, so, sorry, Helen. Him. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> see, I eat mushrooms. I'm not sure I've eat, ever eaten a toadstool before. Can you eat toadstools? I don't think so. Okay. Is that the def the difference? I, I'm not aren't sure. Are they poisonous? What toadstools are mm -hmm. poisonous and mushrooms aren't. Well, some mushrooms are. <laughs> Maybe the um, mushroom expert will some some mushroom expert will come on and tell me. Um, I don't know, but I'm using this this big one, um, and I'm also going to stamp um, some of the little stones as well. Um, I think I've actually already I've, I've, I'm cheating this bit here. I'm not stamping that. I've already stamped that the grass uh, in green, but I'm just doing these ones in black. Okay, um, so let's move that to one side. Don't want to ruin that. Put that to one side. Piece of card, which I have here. Thank you, Helen. Um, I will need. What, what are you waving for? I was Who? Are you? I was fanning myself. I so. Oh. Was. <laughs> Sorry. If if, if you waving. if you'd have seen Helen now, she, I thought she was waving to me. She was fanning herself. Right. Okay. Of course you were. Right. I was laughing as well because you, you got yourself a piece of card and you said thank you Helen. I was just studio doing absolutely nothing. I, well, I thought I thought you were wafting me. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Oh dear. Uh, oh. You can tell it's you can tell we're we're kind of like on the downward slope. Um, let's ink this up again with some uh, Versum Fine uh, Black, the Onyx Black. Coming to the end of a very busy, crazy week. It has been crazy. It's been Can't busy and it's been fun as well. Can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. And can I have some emb clear embossing powder, please? No. <laughs> what would you do if I said no? Oh, do you know what? I don't even know whether I've inked this up properly now. I've kind of like been laughing and everything. Have I done it correctly or not? Who knows? We'll see now when I lift this off. <gasps> Oh, old school as well. I'm just using a block. Remember like those days when well, people just... You, I hope you did ink it up properly. Yeah, well, you know, otherwise I'd just have to do it again on another piece of card. Da-da-da. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. Perfect. There we go. So, Embossing okay. powder. Thank you, Helen. There we go. Ah, right, okay. So, Ali's saying a mushroom, a type of fungus, usually shaped like an umbrella, many of which are edible. Toadstool, any 
of several mushroom-like fungus, some of which are poisonous. Oh, okay. Jane says the very best toast will stamp set out there. Oh. Thank you, Jane. Well, thank you. Not that I had anything to do with designing it, apart from the words, but I thank you on Mark's behalf. Do your job, you come on. You want me to pop this away? Yeah. <laughs> please, please. You're in my way. Powder away. Okay. So, <sighs> just heating this up and clear embossing over black. Um, you could use black over black, but I prefer to use the clear um, so you don't get those black little speckles everywhere that you get sometimes. Um, it's one of the things I use all the time. Nice. Okay. So, let's have a look. That's the, that's, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Now, um, as I said, I've already done the grass, um, which, where have I put the grass? Yeah, I've already stamped some grass. See, there we go. I've already stamped and in green, and I've just cut it out. Pussy cut it out a little bit. So what did you use for that to boost my clay or something? Oh yeah, that was a versifying clay. It's a nice colour, isn't I it? I think it was possibly, or sometimes I go over it, it was possibly this one here, Green Oasis. Nice colour. Ah, and, yes. you know, sometimes you know where you don't get on the grass. Where's the stamp set? Sorry, Helen. Can I pass the stamp? Yep. So where you have the, um, the white parts in the stamp, that obviously that's not, it's only the black that you actually see. Um, so I just used a green or a green um, tri blend pen just to colour it in, just to colour in the white bits a little bit, just to blend it in a little bit. So it works really well, it looks really nice. So yeah, that's what nice. I did there. So let's Excellent. put that to one side. Um, again, this here, I, I, my, my go to pens, obviously, I always use the uh, tri blend because I've got them and they're very handy to have like three colours in one pen. Just saves carrying loads of stuff around. You would just basically um, just go th go over it. I'm not going to colour it in tonight because I think everyone will get bored showing me me colouring in a, you know a mushroom. So I'm not going to do that tonight. I've already got one I've done, uh, which is ta da this one. Okay, so we've kind of jumped a step, but I mean you know it's really easy to colour in. The only thing that I would say with this, um, I used a brown for the for the base. And if I can just, can I just zoom in there? Can I get that? Maybe I can get that. Um, maybe on a white, if I have a piece of white paint card. Oh, that'll do. So if I put it on there. So you can see, you can just see, I've used a, the, one of the blending pens. Oh, I've, I don't know where I've put my blending pen. But I've used one of the, one of the, one of the alcohol blending pens. And if you go over it with a dot in, you can get like a little bit Oh, texture. Muddled, muddled effect. Yes. yes, so that's quite nice. It it looks great. I mean, obviously, I've zoomed really close in there, um, but you know, you get that kind of mottled effect, and that looks really nice. Nice word there, mottled. I like that. Yes, lovely. So, again, it's very effective. I love that. So that's that mushroom. So I'm going to to one side. Thank you, Helen, for that. Um, we'll bring our card back in. So, just want to say hello to a couple of people. We have Isabella from Toronto in Canada, loving the release and all of the affirmations and the flourish. Thank and, you very much. And Sar Sarah again. Sarah's appeared because I know she knows she's she's hounding me for that. that <laughs> no, ATC. I don't think she not is. not literally. You know I'm not saying that. I don't mean that in any way. Hi Sarah. Um, but hi. Uh, but I haven't done your ATC yet. I will do it. I promise you. Um, just give me, um, I'll, I will do it this weekend. Yes, absolutely. I'll make sure he does as well. Yeah. And we've got Jeanette, who's just joined us, um, one of our lovely DT, and you're just in time to see one of your beautiful samples at the end, Jeanette. Excellent. Uh, oh, the, I've also done two of the, the stones, the pebbles. Lovely. So I've, I've just stamped them, cut them out, and I've used a little bit of a grey pen just to give it a little bit of shading, but that, that, that was it for this. And I think we're kind of ready to put this thing together a little bit. Cool. What do you reckon? Go for it. Okay, so this, do you see how now this like really starts to work, doesn't yeah. it? So we're going to put that there, I'm thinking. I'm just looking on the placements where I'm putting these things. Um, probably that's going to go somewhere like that. Maybe a little bit higher. And then I'm going to put these, these pebbles just in the front there like that that's gonna look quite cool isn't it yep absolutely. yeah 
that's how that works. That's how I kind of designed the set to, so you can play around with all these stones. You can put them on the edges there, look really cool as well. So oh, it's just ways to make it look really good. Okay, nice. um, let's put this thing together. So some glue, I think, we'll start off with. Um, I'm using some of the Pin Flare glue. This is the 3D gel glue. Um, it's my glue go-to glue of choice. Um, let's move that out of the way. We'll start with this one here. And a few bits of glue there. It's a bit more raised, I think, at the top. What do you think? Yes, definitely. Jane's reminding you that you also have a September's ATC to make for uh, your swap part partner Pauline. So maybe it'll be a two-in-one. A twofer, two yes. Two-in-one ATCs for well, the, right, I, I, for the I, right themes for the yeah. right people. Well, technically, I got to the end of so that'll be the September the thirty first. Um, no, no, I, there isn't no, a September will, the thirty first, isn't there? No. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm You're creating an extra day, Mark. I know that's that's a good idea. I did that on purpose, didn't I? Right. This is okay. about a bat. I'm seeing comments about a bat, and I'm I've, I've missed Look, something. Where's the bat? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm totally lost. <laughs> is that? Is that not a bat? Is it? No. I missed missing that. Okay. <laughs> right. So let's that look now. I look, that white looks great, doesn't it? I love that. Okay, and we're gonna put that grass there. I'm thinking. What's everyone thinking about the card so far? Is it okay? No, Mark. Twenty third. Ha ha ha. You okay? <laughs> yes, you've only got till the twenty third. So we're getting both done this weekend. I'm gonna do mine as well. I'm gonna do my September one this weekend. Do it with a bit of crafty time. That was a definite polite telling me off, wasn't it? <laughs> I, like, I like that, Jane. I like You'll it. You'll be banned from entering soon because you're too late. Oh, right. okay, <laughs> I think I'll move that up just a little bit because I want to make sure I have my stones in there as well. Right, okay, that's good. Yes, for anyone who's just joined who wants to watch the background being created, then uh, it'll be saved after the uh, live ends so you can watch it whenever you want to. Right, I'm going to attempt to use some tweezers here. Okay, I don't normally use tweezers, but I think I may have to for this. Yes, definitely. It's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Yeah, it can be, but you know, if you want to something cool, you've got to, you know, you've got to do a little bit more, put a bit, a bit more effort in. Right. Okay. Isabella says it's beautiful. Vicky says she loves the card. Leanne says looks super. Uh, Trudy says she's loving it. Well, thank you, everyone. When um when we. Well, it wasn't me that thought of doing these stamps, was it? No, these stamps all together. It wasn't my idea. No. Um, no and, no, no. you know, I thought it was going to be, you know, I th it definitely wasn't my comfort zone, but I, I'm actually loving loving these now, I must admit. So, overlap the stones a little bit. Yeah, like that. Yeah? Very cool. Okay. I think we've... That's the, right, so we're now we're looking pretty good. There's a couple more things I've got to do. Um, is there anything I've forgotten? Oh yes, I was gonna use some of these. Um, these are new, new, newly, Helen orders me some new new things to play with. So these are Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are, what color is this? Uh, silver Moon Dust. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle around. Not much, but a little bit. And hopefully when it's dry, it'll look really nice. Let's need a piece of card to oh, test him on sorry, first. Yeah. Do your best. Um, just, yeah. I want some little ones and some bigger ones as well. So, right, just some. This is, oh yeah, they work quite well actually, didn't they? Do you need to zoom in a little bit there? Or? Oh, is, is, my, is my head in the way? No, no, wanna... we just can't, can't see oh, it right, so much. Okay. I'm sure we'll see them once you've finished. Sorry, if I, sometimes the camera Reese kind of finds itself when it, the remote control works. Yep. That's yep. Okay. Super duper. I'll try and do it so you, people can see. Bye, Jane. Jane's got to go for bedtime stories with the grandchildren. Oh, <laughs> can I have some bedtime stories, please? Talk to you soon, Jane. Yeah, take care. Thank you, Jane, for watching. Do you remember bedtime stories? Yes, fabulous. So I will lift this up every in a minute, everybody, just so you can see the the the, the dimension and the little bit of sparkles that I'm adding. When they're dry, they'll obviously look a lot better. So I'm just kind of random, kind of up and down, and not not in a kind of certain way or anything. 
I think sometimes if you can think too too hard about it, it just doesn't look quite right. Yeah. I think I might add a few more after. We'll see now. I think we're yeah. He says there we go. <laughs> I think we'll stop there. So let me just turn this round. And I'll, I will zoom in so you can see it. Okay, so when those drops will dry, they should look a lot more sparkly. So let me just lift that up for everyone. So you can you can see those those drops there now. Beautiful. Yes, they're gonna show up a lot more when it's dry. Yeah. Very nice. Just a little subtle touch. Yes. Take that back out. There we go. Or maybe just there. Gorgeous card, Mark. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, we do have some other samples to show from our design team, haven't we? Yep. Our, just, uh, our amazing have, design team. Some yes. more that have come in. Again, if you did miss the, um, the launch show last Friday, where we showed most of the samples um, that had come in at that time, do have a, have a watch of it because uh, they are amazing. So these are some of the newer ones that have arrived. Okay, shall we and, have a look? And uh, Jeanette's right. watching. We have, first of all, Whoa, this look one at this from one. Jeanette. You should see how different every oh, single person... Look at that person's... background. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's, I think that's probably oxides. Pretty sure. That's nice, though, isn't it? It's maybe really that's, nice. Maybe that is the new crackling campfire, because it's a Ooh. lovely orange, isn't it? Yes, I can see, I can see how uh, Let us know, Jeanette. nice it is, yes. And the um, sentiments embossed in gold on the black is gorgeous. Very it's great in a different colour as well, isn't it? Mm, beautiful. Nice. Wow. Okay, next. then the next ones are all by Leanne. Okay. Who's only got her hands on the stamps uh, in the last week. Well, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. Very, very gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful, Again, isn't it? Again, really atmospheric, isn't it? I like the extra, the double stamping and the chuck yeah. stamping in the, in the background yes. there. That's nice. Yeah, very, very nice. That's brilliant. And the grass is in white to look really different. Oh, let me just, um, I need very to nice. show, you can't see that oh, yeah. until... Yeah, See how that's it. Glossy gloss... accents. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Really lovely. And it's nice that we can actually show that on camera as yes. well. You know, because you can't pick these things up in photos sometimes. No. HD makes a difference, isn't it? Look yeah. how good that is. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. And then the next one, I love this. So we've got the Earth. Whoa. Created that's... with the uh, distress inks. That's then, very uh, isn't surreal, isn't it? It's like yeah. floating, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... Mm. Toadstool, toadstools take over the world. <laughs> Love it. That's Gorgeous. amazing. Love it. Love the orange as well, the orange framing. Yeah. Beautiful, Leanne. Thank you so much. And then the last one, I think. Yes. Okay. We have something a bit more textural. Wow. Um, this is our autumn leaves stencil with some structure paste and then some ink spraying and then the feature there with the uh, toadstool. Again, with glossy accents on. You want to move him about a little bit, Mark? We yeah. Can see yeah. the texture and so, the. Uh, so you've got the glossy accents there. Look at the glossy accents yeah. on, on that toadstool. Isn't Gorgeous. that amazing? I'm loving the the com the contrast of the the kind of the matte structure yes. paste and the texture mm. and then the that that oh that shiny is so. Toadstool. I mean, I just I. It's gorgeous. I'm isn't trying it? to show everybody that in some kind of detail, but that is so so touchy feely. It's yeah. beautiful, absolutely Lovely. beautiful. Excuse my. Excuse my grubby hands. Eh? Thank you, ladies. Yes, thank you so much. So just finish off and bring mine back in for anyone who's just missed or just catching the end of it now. So please do, after we finish, please rewind and watch it from the very start. So, um, yeah, that'll be some, some fun for you. Um, shall we go back to the front camera now? Yep. Say hello to everyone again. There we go. There we are. <laughs> We're done. So, I really enjoyed that, so I hope you did too. It sounds like you did from the comments. Yes. So, uh, yeah, a lovely, lovely card and another way of using the toadstool. Mm, yeah. So if you haven't checked out Mark's video, do have a watch. It's there on YouTube. Yes. Um, the really vibrant one with the colour, all the different purples and greens. Yes, so, that's, the, that's a yeah. good one as well. And uh, I think I'll be having a, a mad catch-up with lots and lots of design to inspiration over the weekend. So uh, do have a look at our Instagram and our yeah. Facebook page. And come and join us in the Facebook group if you haven't already. I'm busy designing new stuff. Aren't you we? are, you are. Lots of yes. new stuff. We have so, plans. We have some yes, really cool we have plans. Some great so, plans um, for the next few months. So, so uh, yeah, lots of exciting stuff thank, to come. Yeah, thank you so much again for everybody who supports us. Um, it means everything as per normal. Sure does. Um, without you, we can't we can't do this. I mean, we created this whole studio 
for you to share so we could share what we do with you yep. and um yeah it's been great hasn't it yeah it's been good this week like three three back-to-back -back lives uh, three nights running so yeah. it's been fun so uh next week i think we'll be back to two lives a week plus yes. some uh, some pre-records whilst whilst i'm kind of designing a little bit yeah. so it might may just take you know take a little bit longer and yeah. um you know obviously you know if you can don't forget if you can subscribe as well that'd be great if you could yeah um oh, that's my that's that's, that's us again it's me, it's me. <laughs> uh, well i don't know where that subscription thing's gone oh it's gone here there it is there it's um it's, i can't know where it's gone oh we go is that is that the bell for subscription oh yeah don't forget Yay. to subscribe yes <laughs> found it <laughs> in the end eventually yes so um yes yes so you'll always know when there's a new video or when we're going live so that's yeah. uh that's definitely what you need to do yeah Okay, so we will say goodnight then, shall we? Yes, yes we shall say goodnight to you and we um, will see you see next you, see you Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, yeah. That'll be at seven and then we might be doing a different time on the Thursday, but uh, again, we'll let you know. Yeah. Sign up to our newsletter if you haven't already yeah. and uh, keep keep checking the, the socials because we always advertise when we're going live. Yes. So you we're won't miss it then. Yeah, we're also working behind the scenes to be able to obviously do uh, Facebook lives and YouTube, YouTube at the same time. Yes, yes. All so, simul yes. simulcast as they say. Yes. yes. So uh, hopefully next week we'll have that sorted. Just got to get our heads around it. <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit more. There's a little bit to 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 work out. It's just yeah. learning some th more stuff yeah. in between doing everything else that we do. Indeed. So thank you very everybody. And, yeah. Thanks uh, for your time tonight. Yes. Um, we had a bit of a laugh tonight, so it's been yeah. fun. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching along and uh, enjoy the rest of your evenings and have a really lovely week. Weekend. Yes. Hope you can be nice and creative and have a bit of you time. Yes. So thank you again and right. we'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Take Bye care now. guys. Bye bye.